And now we got some video feedback from American Liberty. Strap in, guys. This is going to be a fun one. Answer my questions. You can't last forever. <laughs> Do you know the microphone man? Did you mean the muffin man? No, the microphone man. The muffin man? Do you know the microphone man? Oh, you mean the muffin man. Well, hello, Mr. Microphone Man. I saw your BS podcast. A few shows ago, you had an individual write in that you commented on that was talking about maybe the possibility of you doing a future live show in reference to your conspiracy corner, taking your conspiracy theories and eh, stretching them out just a little bit for the entertainment of your public. I think that's a brilliant idea. I love the idea as long as you're willing to put time into it. But I will tell you when it comes to the concept of doing a live call-in program, which was what he suggested, I'd like to tell you that might have a little bit of more thought process that you want to put into it, and here's why. You need to do a lot of things, man. You need to do a lot of things. Call-in shows are rough, man. Make them kind of tough. You need to do a lot of things, man. You need to do a lot of things. Lots of time to plan. Set a date that works. Advertise like crazy. Keep your schedule firm. Have a number to call in. And a system to take them. Then, Mr. Microphone Man, you must be prepared to deal with no calls at all. And if you think that's the worst of it, the scariest part, wrong. You also have to be prepared for who actually does call in. Here, allow me to give you a couple examples just to think about it for a sec. Let's first turn to the unfocused storyteller. Well, here we go again, Bandrew. I uh, know quite a bit when it comes to conspiracies, but before I talk about that, I'd like to tell you about a a job I had many, many years ago, decades ago. I used to be a lifeguard at a lake uh, near my home, and at the early part of of the season, well, unlike California, where y'all wear shorts and bathing suits 24-7 all year round, we still had snow at the beginning of our open lake season. Well, we didn't have much to do, so we sat around, and all we did was gossip 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 and well i tell you the truth most conspiracies are pretty much just gossip sessions and should be thought as such well i, I don't have any more time i've got to go so let me just say i love your program bandrew and uh, i hope you continue with strong success and god bless america well that was boring and long and wow that would have been a terrible call but that's not the worst of it imagine somebody calls in the program that fits with the question in your wheelhouse normally but isn't quite on subject matter of conspiracy corner to which you're trying to do a show on. Then put a little danger concept into it in another way. Let's hear what I'm talking about. Uh, hi, Andrew. Uh, my name's Billy. I'm I'm seven, and I want to find out about a, a recommendation for a microphone. Um, I have a friend named Johnny, and Johnny's got a brother, and his brother vapes. And and one day Johnny says he was over at, at the house and saw where where his brother was hiding his vapes, and he had a whole bunch of them. So Johnny like grabbed a box of them and, and brought them over to my place, and we went out in the backyard and we were vaping. And oh my gosh, it was so much fun, Andrew. We had such a good time. So anyhow, he came up with the idea, and I love it, that we do this thing called hot boxing, and that sounded really fun. So we got this big old cardboard box, and, and then we decided, we'll make, we should do a YouTube video on this, and then, oh my gosh, it'd be great. I don't understand why it's called hot boxing, because it's snowing outside, it's really, really cold, so we're going to call it cold boxing with Billy and Johnny. We need a microphone for it, but it's got to be a microphone that can, like, take water because i'm sure that we're going to be high call hot and the outside's going to be all cold and we're going to get covered with snow and the stove's going to leak through that box and we're going to get all wet and the microphone might get all wet so what we need to do is find out whether or not you know about a microphone that we can get that we can use like, to take the cold weather and it can get a little wet hey andrew can you do me a favor and recommend a microphone for us thank you andrew danger will robinson danger Danger is right. Seven-year-old kids calling in asking beep questions for your assistance to help them break the law. Well, that's a dangerous topic to even go near. You think that's bad, though? Here, let's get a little creepy. Mm-hmm. Google. Mm-hmm. 
conspiracies. Dangerous, dangerous topic conspiracies. Mm. Religion of Google. Mm. Thank God we didn't have a Google or YouTube around back in the time of, of Galileo. Mm. Yeah, they would have called him a heretic because he said the world was round at a time when everyone else said the world was flat. Mm. Well, that was plain out creepy. Ooh, I get shivers in my timbers over that. <laughs> well, if that's going to make you shiver, well, just you wait here and see this, because this guy's just flat out insane. Hey, who are you calling insane? Just because I have this tinfoil helmet on my head. Look, you guys running around with your tinfoil hat. That's not cutting it anymore. You need the helmet. Come on, get on board. You know they're after us. They're everywhere. They're coming for you. They're coming for me. They're coming for all of us. They're in our food. They're in our technology. They're in our air, our water. Come on, they're everywhere. They're coming for us. Don't call me insane just because I get it and you don't. Come on now. Come on now. Come on. Hey, by the way, don't throw away your tinfoil hats, man. Put those on top. You need those to protect yourself against the damn aliens that are trying to get us. Do you know the microphone man? Yes, I know the microphone man. His name is Andrew Scott. <laughs> American Liberty, you are insane. And I loved every single second of that. If you are just an audio listener, I 100% recommend you go over to bandrewsays.com and click the play button on the video and fast forward to this time so you can watch what was sent in. That was incredible. I absolutely loved it. And the thing is, all of the things that you state in that are absolutely true. There are a lot of requirements if you want to do a live call-in show, especially if you're doing something as controversial as conspiracies or politics or religion, any of those things, you you have a lot of risk along with that. You got to plan your live streams. Absolutely. You got to set a time that works for your audience and you, you have to have a consistent time for that live show. If people don't know when to show up to your live stream page, your live stream is dead and you have to have a call-in system that provides decent enough audio, which can be expensive. Although I have the Rodecaster Pro, so I guess it would be pretty simple now. And you are absolutely right that you have to be entertaining if nobody calls in. And that is a risk that every single call-in show has. There's a possibility that nobody will ring up and you have to be entertaining for the entire time that you have allotted for your live stream, especially if you allow it to be a VOD, a video on demand afterwards. You sure as heck better have some value and something interesting to say in there. You also point out that all types of people will call in. And that is very true. The one that rung true for me was the Billy one. <laughs> that creeped me out and scared me. And I am pretty sure that that exact conversation has happened a few times in the podcastage discord voice chat. No offense if you were that Billy person, but you made me feel very uncomfortable. And I don't condone any anybody doing anything illegal. I'll leave it at that. The thing about live call-in shows is unless you have a producer and a time delay that would allow them to censor stuff, it would be very dangerous because people who call in could spout anything that they want and you wouldn't have any recourse on your end because you are allowing somebody a platform to say these hateful things or these things that are against terms of service. And on that note, that's what scares me. If I were to be streaming somewhere and I had somebody who hated me that didn't think I deserved the audience that I had, they could just call in and start spewing stuff that's against the terms of service, whether it be racial slurs, whether it be conspiracies. Well, no, conspiracies. <laughs> I guess the entire show is against the terms of service in some way, shape or form. But you get my point. They could call in like people do on Twitch and have and say stuff that would get me banned or taken down or striked. American Liberty, thank you so much for that awesome video submission. That was incredible, and you raised some very good points, and it is hands down the best submission I have ever seen for a podcast. Amazing, amazing work. I can't wait to see the next one, whatever that is. I know you sent in an amazing one for better podcasting, but maybe I'm biased. I like mine better. I like mine better. Better podcasting, I will fight you. I will fight you for American Liberty clips. <laughs>